You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may not turn to the Gaming Dragon today. I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Coffee Buns. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> the fur has spread across almost all of their bodies. The few patches of exposed skin receding under its advance like sandbars covered, or covered by a rising tide. I hear a soft rustling as the fur slides underneath their stockings. One of the last places for each of them is the skin just above their neckline. The fur converges there, jutting up like waves crashing into each other, leaving a tuft of fur extending outward. One last bit. You feel a little pressure. They each pinch their eyes shut as their mouths and nose extend outward. It looks like they're each hit with a sudden bout of sinus pressure and they grit their teeth. It gives me the best look at their fangs yet. Faint creaking noises emerge as their new muzzles draw further and further out. Matching the pattern so far, Ash has stopped short before our bosses, which is drawn out to a long, sharp snout. Huh. Both open their eyes and blink as they're confronted with their new anatomy jutting out into their field of vision. Maybe this will help. She pulls out a two, ha uh, two hand mirrors she brought for the occasion, each of them gasp at their reflections. I'm bon to rim. This is amazing, Miss Reeves. Yeah, this is wild. Thanks for the sample. Each of them turn their head back and forth to see how the sheen of their fur moves. Not too long before Ash turns to me. Pretty slick, huh, Bean? She flexes her fingers and I notice her nails have thickened into short claws. Don't know if I would have picked skunk, but I think it works for me. Totally, you look super, super duper sophisticated, ma'am. My boss loses the last bit of misgiving over her new form. She closes her eyes and brushes some hair over her shoulder at the same moment she swishes her tail in the same motion. That's very kind of you, Miss Reeves. <laughs> so, I believe that takes care of all we need to open for the day. She glances over at me. Unless our demonstration made you reconsider. The temperature under my collar skyrockets. Oh, well... I've got the half-strength tea if you want to try that out instead. Two carnivores staring down their muzzles at me as I'm put on the spot. At least Ash looks more like a carnivore. I mean, it does. it sounds like you went through a lot of trouble to get us some of that tea, so... Of course! She does me the favor of pouring the tea before I need to express an actual request. Same deal as last time. Just finish the mug and you should be good. It might take a little less time than it took to them to grow their tails. The mug is in my hand, but and before I know it, the steam wafts up and makes my nose twitch. I refocus my eyes beyond it and see all three women staring at me expectantly. Uh, cheers? I barely lift the mug before stooping down, stooping down to take a sip. Any apprehension I feel melts away the moment the tea touches my lips. What I intended as a mere taste turns to a mouthful as I swig the first taste of tea. As you might guess from my job, I threw my lot, threw my, I threw my lot in with coffee over tea. This is the most invigorating, flavorful drink I've ever had. A bold medley of flavors throw through, flow through the tea, the like currents into different temperatures. Each of them crescendo before waning and letting another taste take precedent. Sorry for the word fumbling, y'all. I just got up. Oh, coffee. Oh god. Oh god, that hits the spot. Yeah, baby girl. Okay. It's enough to overwhelm my senses and I lose myself before noticing I've gulped about three times without coming up for air. I tear, I tear the tea from my lips and having a breath. Even a breath. Wow! That's... What does yours taste like? Was it banana or something? Are you gonna be a monkey? I have to cast myself back to try and remember. I was so overwhelmed by the taste I didn't have the sense to pick out distinct flavors. No, I think it was... I mentally prepare myself to take only a taste more without finishing the rest. It's definitely herbal. There's a lot of flavors in there, but they're all, uh, vegetables, I think? So, uh, I guess that makes me an herbivore. Heh. <laughs> they don't change the intensity of their gaze, so it's only my imagination that makes them more threatening. Anything more specific? I have an idea of what, what, of what that something more specific might be, but I take another sip to be sure. The full taste was so overwhelming the first few times, I didn't bother picking out the dominant flavor. Now that I'm confirming my suspicion, it becomes glaringly obvious. A sweet, earthy, crisp taste, one seemingly bathed in vibrant, warm hues, takes center stage. I know exactly what it is, but I don't say it out loud. Uh, well, it's kind of earthy. I take another sip. It's killing me to avoid drinking the tea all at once, but I have to draw it out. The moment I finish the cup, I'll have to say what the tea tastes like. I'll have to admit what the tea tastes like. I think it might be a sort of root vegetable. Another small sip. I'm taking far longer to drink my mug despite Ash's initial hurdle. Maybe a little hard to place. 
Is it something like potato, perhaps? No, I don't think so. We had another sip. I look up at Naomi as I ingest yet more of the elixir that's going to reveal me for what I am. She narrowed her eyes as if trying to figure it out if I'm about to shed light on any of her guesses. It's not as starchy as that. More fibrous, maybe? I'm nearly at the bottom of my mug. I pray that I don't have to stand around stalling much longer. It's more of a bright flavor. Something appropriate for spring. Beets, maybe? She doesn't ask it. She doesn't ask it as though beets would confirm a transformation associated with beets. She's just as curious and just in the dark as my boss and Ash. Though, only because I'm withholding from all of them. It's not as sweet as that, just a little bit sweet. I have no choice but to finish the mug. Maybe it'll be more obvious when the change starts. I set down the mug. Really tasty on its own, though. Thanks for letting me have some. Oh, of course! My pleasure! Any annoyance she might feel about having to wait a little longer is effectively masked. I'm about to regret taking so long to drink the tea, but I feel the effect starting to manifest. The coursing energy instilled by the tea diverts towards my ears, and I can feel individual nerves transmit electric sensations from my temples and my nape to the edges of my ears. A warm, static-like sensitivity collects there, and I can feel something growing. Ah, there go the ears. The color is sort of like your hair. My boss hums to herself. Not many animals that color. I can't tell if she's already figured it out. There are some furries that change color with the season, but it's too early for them to turn white for winter. My paranoia leaves me utterly convinced Naomi already knows. But it'll only be a few seconds difference either way. The hot tugging sensation I've been anticipating this whole time pinches the top of my ears and lifts up. And up. And up. Bunny! Bun 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 bun! My ears grow larger and wider, true, but it's hard to not notice when one dimension is so adamant in its prominence. Three pairs of eyes ascend in unison as my ears are pulled up a half foot, then a full foot. My temperature rises with all of them. One ear buckles under its own weight and flops and lops forward, striking my bangs with a soft path as both continue to grow. The tip of the remaining aloft ear must be 18 inches high by the time the stretching abates. Three pairs of eyes turn to start staring at mine. Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of did taste like a carrot. Taste like carrot. I clap my mouth shut with one hand. Oh, don't fight the buck teeth. You'll lose the lisp if you let your body get used to it. With my mouth covered, they can only see my eyes betray how mortified I look. It also lets me feel my two incisors grow. Each push down with a steady, insistent pace, like they're a hydraulic press. My lower lip gives way as the slick teeth slide effortlessly past them. They're over twice their usual length by the time they stop. My hand, a lot, my hand also allows me to feel my nose change. The tip recedes as it's pressed back into the rest of my face. Both slits narrow as they're folded like an origami into a wide V-shape. It's pink now. It's definitely pink, isn't it? I'm intent on hiding both my teeth and nose forever, but I've forgotten the order of operations. Something pricks my palm and my instincts override my resolve. When my hand jerks away, everyone sees my bunny nose. My bunny teeth and my bunny whiskers droop as they grow in. Oh, sorry. I, I mean, sorry. No, no reason to be embarrassed. Putting my hand back would look even worse, so I keep my wrist handcuffed to my waist. My nose twitches nervously as I watch the fade. my face settle into its new shape. There's only one thing left. I don't want Naomi to have to guide me through every little thing I, and reach back to allow my final growth to take place. The tip of my tailbone pushes from the surface of my back like a pencil stretching a balloon. My, my skin makes way, growing more to accommodate the new limb, though the bare flesh is soon covered by fur to mask its uncanny appearance. Lots of fur. Lots and lots of fur. It feels like only four inches along as I try to twitch it back and forth, but the soft, wispy fur makes it look twice as long and just as wide. There's this giant sphere of fur unfurling behind me. Another two inches of growth of actual tails reflected exponentially by the fur, until a volleyball-sized powder puff stands alert and twitching behind me. The rush of tingling energy and glowing warmth induced by the tea abates and leaves only the silence of myself and everyone else. Naomi takes the initiative to break the tension. Very fun rabbit TF! We have a lot of customers request that one, and that coloration is pretty common. You looked out with a rare pelt. She pointedly doesn't mention the gender of the customers who request to turn into a bunny. Very charming, I must say. It's quite elegant. Yeah, looks like you're on your way to a very important date. Make sure you're not late. I just know there's a half dozen more ribbing comments she has chambered that she'd make if my friend and our boss weren't here. I don't know. Themes... Seems a little goofy. 
No, it's super cute. I flinch. Uh, maybe. You and me clasp her hands together. Well, I've got my usual deliveries to make before I'm back at the bistro. Looks like you're all gonna have a ton of fun today. Let me know how it goes. I'll leave the instructions for turning back, and you can do it after your shift or once you're back home. Maybe after, maybe after even. She traipses over to me and holds her arms out for a hug. See you tonight, maybe? She throws her arms around me, careful to tilt her antlers away. I'm only able to use my forearms to return my own feeble hug. Her muzzle brushes up, up the fur to my ears. Call this one at all, seriously. She pulls back one and once more flashes the enthusiastic smile she's been sporting all morning before skipping out the door. I turn back to my co-workers. Well, we're just about to open. Do you two need anything before we start for the day? I know she's leaving the door open for me to head to the back and change out of my costume, as it were. My feet, yeah, my feet keep me anchored to the floor while I kind of, while a kind of gravity pulls my heart towards the back. No, I think I'm fine, as if, as is. Ash has pulled a compact and hairbrush, a compact and hairbrush from her purse and brushes the ebony tufts on her cheeks. Nope, I'm all set. Wonderful. Her clap of resolve is dampened by the pads on her fingers. I set aside some time today so I could spend more time on the floor. No sense in hiding in the office like this. So, let's see how our little trial one goes, shall we? She glides over to the door to unlock it and flip over the open sign, her tail attempting to hide its, to find its place in the balance of her stride. Ash and I take our place behind the counter. I let her take point. Hello there. <laughs> it's not too long before our first customer comes in. Hello, sir. Welcome to Awakenings. He's been looking down at his phone as, and has to do a double take when he looks up upon being greeted. Oh, um, is this... He turns back to see the sign in the window. Yes, we're just trying out some new theming. It's the same excellent beverage as you're used to, just in a fun new atmosphere. Yeah, we won't bite. Just our coffee if you take it black. <laughs> she drums her claws on the counter. What'll you have? The customer remains off kilter, but can't hide his intrigue as he approaches the counter. Oh, um, just a house blend. Medium. Sure thing. Black? She tilts her fan-like tail to the side to reveal her two white stripes. Or two creams. That sounds nice. Not up to me, anyway. You serve yourself at the condiment station. Fun! The way she yells, it makes me know she's talking to me. Toss me a medium? Toss. <laughs> I pull a cup off the top of the stack and underhand it to her. Instead of reaching for it, she cocks her tail out to intercept the cup. The cup lands on the lip and slides down its length where she nabs it from her hip, then flips it and clanks it on the counter. The customer and her stare at it for a beat. Wow, didn't expect that to work on the first try. Four dollars, thanks. The rest of the day proceeds in a funhouse mirror version of a typical shift. It's the same slow trickle of customers, the same orders, the same mundane chores to take care of during slow to during down times. But there's definitely a palpable energy in the air. The customers are a little more engaged during their order, some of them bantering with Ash during, their, during her repartee. Even when I take orders, they seem more keen on conversation. Not that I'm giving them much to work with. I try to keep things brisk and professional, but their curiosity won't go unsated. They ask if I have the tea off, and if I'm usually a rabbit, and if all my fur's white. They might not have to ask that last one if I gave them a, uh, gave them a good look at my tail, but I face the counter at all times, shuffling laterally from the espresso machines to the register and drop off the counter. Ash has none of it, flaunting her tail and flashing fangs at every opportunity. The boss, too, seems intent on showing off, though she only spends a little time behind the counter. She spends more time on the floor talking with customers awaiting their orders, explaining her rationale behind the trial, and laughing at what are assuredly low-hanging jokes about her canine appearance. There's a subtle growl in her laugh that some customers can't get enough of. Her traffic isn't appreciably bigger than the day before, but there are a lot of waves goodbye instead of shuffles out the door with heads turned down. We approach the end of the day with all of our pastries sold out. Oh! I believe... Uh, yeah. I think, was that dude... Was that dude in the first game? I think he was. The snob, I believe. A customer walks in to clo close, clo close closing time. Hey there, welcome to Awakenings. Let me know if I can get you anything. I'm gonna pause it right there, y'all. It's breakfast time. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Tresum Guy. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.